Number 12, this is Osmanthus burkwoodii. First note, that multiplication sign in front of the specific epithet indicates that this is a hybrid species. Okay? So Osmanthus burkwoodii is in the Oleaceae with other Osmanthus. So this is a nice trick that I, I like to use. In Oleaceae, they're opposite. So O-P-P-O-S-I-T-E, they're opposite in the Oleaceae. So every plant that I am aware of in the uh, Oleaceae family or the olive family has oppositely arranged leaves. Okay, so in the case of Osmanthus burkwoodii, they have very uh, coriaceous or leathery uh, leaves that are oppositely born, and they're elliptic. They're a very nice dark green. They are, I would call these a matte to semi-gloss, okay? They are quite attractive year-round. This is an evergreen uh, species. It has no real serious pest and disease problems. I've never seen it die back here in Corvallis, even uh, when we got down to four degrees Fahrenheit on campus. So uh, quite hardy. It also uh, has white flowers born during early spring and they are highly fragrant. So the three Osmanthus species that, that I'm most familiar with here uh, in Corvallis we have Osmanthus burkwoodii, uh, we're going to do Osmanthus delavei a little bit later on, and as Osmanthus fortunii. And all of them are worthy of planting due to their evergreen nature. They are highly fragrant white flowers that are born in different times of the season. So uh, this plant that we're standing by, I, I like to show this one because you can see that it has these uh, four to six inch thick uh, branches here. So again, we're not talking about a little tiny shrub that fits into every landscape. This one that we're, we're standing beside happens to be uh, planted right by a parking lot. And actually there are two plantings of this that are actually gonna meet and encompass a, uh, a walkway. So that during spring, you'll actually be walking underneath a fragrant archway of uh, white flowers. One interesting thing on, on all of these Osmanthus species, and actually a, a fourth is Osmanthus fragrans that we don't grow nearly as much, um, I've actually never seen fruit on any of these. And I think part of that is because we have a fairly narrow genetic base of introduction from, uh, from China where these plants were, were introduced from. So uh, anyway, that's a, an interesting little uh, side fact. I'd like to actually breed these plants, but we can't produce any fruit. And if you can't produce any fruit, you can't really breed for them. So, great plant for uh, its evergreen nature, can produce a large screen or hedge. It's fragrant in early spring, but again, beware on uh, the size of the area in which you're planting it. You might spend all of your time pruning it. Osmanthus burkwoodii is a great choice though.